Hey everyone, welcome to Homestead Corner. I'm Ginny and today we are going to dig into our prepper pantries and we're gonna whip up some chicken, pineapple, and rice casserole. So I love a quick one pot meal. Our pantries are wonderful to do that with. There are so many different possibilities and this is just a quick chicken, pineapple and rice, um, Hawaiian type dish that is just super easy to make and it is ready really quick. It takes a little while to bake, but it doesn't take much prep time at all. So we are going to be using some chicken broth, low sodium soy sauce, brown sugar, some instant rice and in and um, freeze dried bell peppers. You can use minute rice for this. That works really well. Um, I don't have any on hand, so I'm going to use what I have. And uh, just any instant rice will work, really. And then bell peppers. You're supposed to have a half a cup of bell peppers. You can use fresh, freeze dried. You can use dehydrated, whatever you have on hand. I'm going to use freeze dried because that's what I have today. And then a can of pineapple, a can of chicken, a 12 and a half ounce can of chicken works really good for this recipe. So if you have the store canned chicken that works, you're just going to shred it up. Easy peasy. And then parsley, garlic powder, minced onion, salt and pepper. And let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to get started by opening and draining my chicken. If you can get these lids off, they are great for vacuum sealing afterwards. And in a pinch, I have definitely canned it with the used lids more than once. They don't recommend it, but they work. So I just use a little bit of the fork, the end of the fork. A flat one works really well. And then... It pops the lid off with no damage. So that works out great. I'm just gonna drain this chicken. So once we have drained our chicken, I'm just going to shred it up right in the bowl and we're gonna mix right in here. So I try to keep it as little dishes as possible, especially in an emergency, you are not going to wash dishes. So as little bit as you can. So once that, so once we have our chicken all shredded, I'm going to add about half a cup of brown sugar. And that is about half a cup. And then a half cup of soy sauce. I like to use the low sodium because the regular soy sauce is just so stinking salty. So we've got that in there. So we have the chicken broth that we drained off from our chicken and we just, we need three quarters of a cup. So I'm going to use a little bit more to add to it. So we have the right amount. So we're going to put three quarters of a cup of chicken broth and you always want to save those juices whenever you are draining anything off because you may need it to add back in and it's got lots of nutrients and flavor in it. So whenever you're cooking from your pantry, you want to get as much as you can out of it, definitely. So we're just going to mix this all up. And we are also going to add about a tablespoon of minced onion, because I really like that. And we're going to add about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Put that right in there. And we're just going to mix this up really, really good now. I want to get this all mixed together so that sugar is melting in there. So it's not all granulated. So while we're getting this all together, I have got my oven preheating at 425 degrees. We have our chicken, garlic, minced onion, soy sauce, chicken broth, and sugar, brown sugar in here. And now we are going to add one and a half cups of instant rice right in. We're going to add about a half a cup of chopped bell pepper and a 20 ounce can of pineapple tidbits and the juices. You want those juices right in there. So that's going to be your liquid to get that rice rehydrated. 
And it's going to make it delicious. And then we are just going to mix this all up. I love casseroles because it just takes a few minutes to throw it together, pop it in the oven, and there's dinner. You get all your other stuff done. Or put your feet up if you got them in it. That'd be nice, huh? Doesn't happen that much. <laughs> Definitely. So once we have this all mixed together, we are going to take our pan and we're going to spray our pan down. And this is, oh, just a couple of quarts pan. And I think it's two and a half quarts maybe. So we're just going to pour this right in here. And this gives you nice, good size casserole. This will feed four or five people. You could probably stretch it out to six if you had some good sides with it, um, depending on what you're doing. But just as it is, I mean, it's got fruit, vegetables, meat, and it's delicious. So we're just gonna put as much in there as we can and just even that out the best we can. So this is what our casserole looks like. And you can see the liquid is kind of floating around there. So now I'm just gonna add a little parsley to the top. Oh, about a teaspoon or so. We'll sprinkle that right on there. I put a good healthy amount. It doesn't have tons of flavor, but it is good for your belly, definitely. Super good for you. Once we get that on there, I am going to add a piece of foil over the top. And we're going to pop this in our preheated oven at 425 degrees for about 45 so minutes. So this has been cooking for about 45 minutes. So I'm going to remove the foil. I'm just going to pull that off. Mmm. At that we're going to give this a good stir the liquid is just about gone and we want to make sure that the rice is done and if you had fresh raw chicken you'd want to make sure that was done right now um, this recipe we used canned but you could definitely use fresh in this and you don't have to cook it first so we just give that a good mix Make sure everything is mixed in good. And we're going to put this back in the oven for about 10 more minutes at 425 degrees. And then it will be done. So once we get this out of the oven, we just finish the extra 10 minutes of cook time. I'm going to let this sit on the counter for about 5 to 10 minutes while I get everything ready. And then it'll be ready to there eat. There you have it. A simple and easy dish. It is just a one pot meal. It's super good. And you can switch out the chicken with pulled pork. That is also really, really delicious. So I am ready for lunch. Mm. Mm. All those flavors are really, really great together. We just love this dish. It's super easy to do. The girls can put it together. I have teenage girls. They can slap this meal together in just minutes and toss it in the oven. So we love one pot, casserole, soup, stews, anything simple and easy is my favorite cooking. And that's it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.